Hello everyone and welcome back to Daedalus Plays Victoria 2 as Portugal, or the Republic of Portugal. We have just exited our nice little uh, great war over here. We are now swimming in money, which is excellent. Those war indemnities are awesome. I love them. No, not yet. It's, uh, we, have to, we have a lot of debts to pay off. I mean, a lot. Because that, that great war really set us back uh, in terms of money. But that will change soon enough. We have to rebuild our army here in Africa. We have a lot of units to build. Let's start that right now, actually. Let's get a head start. Oh, yeah, we can build uh, armor as well. Just get five of that. Two airplanes. Start replacing. I think we're starting to replace uh, cavalry with airplanes because they are of the same category. Our armies have to start recovering too. Our armies have taken quite a beating. So one armor over here and one airplane. Uh, our navy is also taking quite a beating because we were running we didn't have any money to uh, sustain it our economy our economy overall took quite a hit after all this and um, hmm, I did read one of the comments this guy I filmed uh, the last I think episode 21 22 and 23 in one batch so uh, I did not see the comment about having for the reform of first past the post, which will allow us to get rid of these goddamned uh, liberals and thus maybe put our country back to being some other form of government. Have something interesting happen. Alright, we are set up to maximum with our military tech. Maybe we want to start getting ourselves involved in more text like this. Management strategy, output. Industry, cheap steel. We don't produce much steel and or coal. But, uh, our geo output efficiency, yeah. Shift work is an extremely good tech. We are reinforcing our armies rather quick. We do have, we don't have a lot of transports. We are trying to replenish our transports. As a matter of fact, Let's get uh, a little bit more transport started. <clears throat> a little bit more transport started. We can also start building back. Let's get nine dreadnoughts, ten dreadnoughts, and uh, let's get a whole bunch of light ships as well. Fifteen. No, too much. Too many light ships. All right, that should do it. Forty-three ships queued. It's going to take us quite a long time. The Chinese are going to be a nuisance and occupy our shit over there, but I don't think they do have any capability to do anything uh, really nasty to us. Germany's not our ally, yeah, but they're, they're at war with... What are you at war against France for anyways? I don't, I don't remember what this was. Oh, the French liberation of Alsace-Lothringen, or Alsace-Lorraine. They are winning. Well, now. That's really odd. Come on, uh, come on, Germany. You're gonna let you're gonna let the French slap you around like this? Oh, wow, our navy is now recovering real quick. We're gonna we'll just sit back over here, just for a little bit, and wait until our navy uh, recovers. The Freedom Fleet. <laughs> We're gonna wait for them to recover. I'm not too worried about um, the Chinese. Get the world thing. Suppress this. I'm not too worried about the Chinese occupying our shit over there because they are, their tech is crap. You see, it's, they have a lot of troops, but it's taking them like, like a thousand years to do anything to our heavily fortified provinces over here. We have little five forts over there. It takes them quite a bit. And invading them. Oh yeah, I forgot that we did actually uh, take the Philippines from the Spanish one of those wars. It's been quite a while since I checked into this game. I've had some other stuff going on that I had to do. 
Uh, I mean, this thing's looking pretty good. Alright, these are fairly well reinforced. They're pretty much fully reinforced. Wow, we're... Our army is reinforced rather quickly. It's really good. Need, need more transports. They are being built. We're just gonna wait for them to come on over. We are not in a big hurry, as I said before. Not in a big hurry. And now we can pay off all of our loans. There it is. Because we are making oodles of money. Let's uh, turn up our admin and our education back. Um, upper class. Can tax them again. Can tax the lower class, like the 65%, I guess. There, that should do it. No tariffs. We're making piles of money just from... Uh, we're going to accumulate a lot of money really quickly from this great war indemnity. It's not going to last very long, but uh, it, it will help us quite a bit. Okay, increase English opinions with the USA. Bolivia. We're pretty much going to hopefully... Oh yes, uh, the Argentina did become a democracy. Oh yes, that is nice. Oh, what are those? Argentinian fascists. Oh, no you don't. Oh, good god. Why are there so many here? Oh, because the Brazilians are... Come on now. Military access. Are we... They're not allied with us. Interesting. Uh, be my ally. Oh no, they are my, they are my ally. Call ally. Oh yeah, we did call Brazil because he's our, they're our puppet. And the Spanish. Should probably try to get our relations back with them again. I don't want, I don't want our relations with the Spanish to set, to be sour. Yeah, they finally occupied something. Oh my god, the Germans are getting their asses kicked. Who else are they at war with? What the hell, Germany? You have more troops than they do. Why are you letting them occupy like this? Are you at war with... Excuse me? Why are you doing it all the way down there? What the fuck? What the fuck? Germany. 258. They have more regiments, they have more of everything. What are they doing? Oh, I know. Uh, maybe they were stranded in, uh, like, all the way over here in Russia because they did join the war. Ah, uh, maybe that's what happened. Yep, I think that's what happened because they joined uh, the war against Russia, so they occupied the shit out of everything. I know. Yeah, they probably have a lot of troops, but a lot of their troops are, like, all the way over there. Yep, that's what happened. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it, Germany. Why did you do this to yourself? Feeling way about more. Yes, and I'm taking my time, as I said, because, uh, major discovery. Very nice. Because, uh, I'm not too worried about the, the Chinese. Let's see, our war score is only 0%. Yeah, because they're all... These are all colonial states. They're gonna get ticking war score, maybe. Eventually, they're gonna get some ticking war score, I'm guessing. But, uh, then again, not too worried. Alright, let's take these guys over there. Well, to speed this process up. Yeah, they take like a thousand years to do that. I would really like to get access with Japan. Really like to do that. Chile, Venezuela. Chile. Cuba is already in our sphere. Chile. Okay, increase opinion. Portugal. Who was the other one? Uh, Venezuela. There we go. Increase opinion. They're now friendly. And uh, the US of A. United States of America their fascist dictatorship. That's kind of a lame... That's kind of a lame flag. Just this big L. It's kind of stupid. Alright, can we get rid of... No. No political reforms yet. Darn. 
trinket pensions. Uh, subsidies, 12 hour workday. Yeah, let's give it 12 hour workday. Alrighty, you go over here. These are still getting dreadnoughts and shit. Uh, oh yes, we can probably upgrade our... Oh no, these, these naval bases were upgraded to the maximum. These, however, and they will allow us to build much more ships. And we're going to need it, because if Britain wants to get nasty with us again, we are going to need a bigger naval force than what we had. Because as we saw, it was not nearly enough <laughs> to contain Britain. And we did lose, we lost nearly all of our troops, all of our ships. Carlos Spain, influence, blah, blah, blah. Limited citizenship. Yeah, limited citizenship. Get rid of this guy. I don't want to be bothered to transport him. Right. How are we doing with our armies here? Almost all of it is built. Only armor is needed. Sense of when. Yeah. Uh, what? Okay, we are actually building armor. I was gonna check because I thought I thought that maybe uh, we weren't producing any armor, but we are. Oh, the Freedom Fleet has arrived. Time to land and kill them all. We are going to grab these African troops because why not? Uh, you know what? No, no, no. Do, do, do the following. Uh, we're gonna do the following. We're gonna play smart. We're gonna get our transports only. Because these guys are gonna go and just blockade the shit out of the Chinese. Just to raise up our war score much quicker and get this war over with. Let's see. Zero percent. Defender blockades. How are they blockading us? Oh no, we are the defender. Ha! I am done. I'm usually the I'm usually the big oppressor slash aggressor, so I now it changed though. Oh I'm the defender now, that's right. Netherlands wants to be wants an alliance. Sure. Oh no! They're occupying Dainan. Bastards. Get off my land, China. Transport fleet still going around. Oh wow, that was a big. He just destroyed that navy. Barely, barely felt it. All right, more industry. Uh, electrical power generation. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, let's get main armament. It gives us better attack. And let's split up this jammy, and you're gonna blockade even more. This should be over fairly quickly. Uh, our s transport fleet is still going around Africa. I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. We're gonna start producing more, of course. About, t about 10, I think. Four armor and four artillery. One of this and two of this. There we go. Maybe we should build. I've heard that some some people have are have been fairly successful with all airplane arm, all airplane divisions. But uh, I've been doing fairly well with just using basically substitute thinking of uh, basically just thinking of airplanes as. As uh, as cavalry, which they which they are represented as cavalry. If you check the little, if you check them, that's what they're represented as. The monarchical state capitalism. Uh, no, no lazy fare. All right, we occupy this. Um, their tech is shit, from what I remember. Ten. Yeah, we're thirty. Let's just attack them. Let's just get rid of these shooters. We should have gas attack against them as well. 
they will get absolutely destroyed and we're getting more modern units with the uh, armor and everything else all the good things that the modern world has to offer and the, by the way of slaying people are those all transports? 10 transports, that should be enough to transport you, let's go off you go Uh, we're still building more dreadnoughts. I just want to see if I can build more cruisers. Nope, not a single cruiser. Okay, we're at our naval force limit. That's fine. 20,000 to go over here. Wow, they're really trying. You're trying really hard, aren't you? Just, just quit trying, man. Let's just give it up. Where's their... Where's the second fleet over here? Yep, board. Off you go. Get our t our boys over here. Our tanks. Can we build any more uh, European troops? We'll go Apollo one. Oh wow, we can build a lot of Filipino troops. Uh, let's do that. Let's build some Filipino troops as well. Filipino one, two, three. No, not Malay. Ah, fuck it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. I think that's it. The rest are all uh, Chinese troops. Yeah, let's leave it at that. And after this is done, we can replenish. These are all the Chinese. This is probably all the Chinese troops that we actually lost. These are all the Chinese troops that we lost when the Chinese invaded. Jenning Fort damage, shit. Uh, state capitalism. And we still have some, un some unemployment over here. Portuguese Canton. Why are you unemployed? Just go work in these factories, you shits. Let's expand it, I guess, just uh, for the hell of it. Come on, get rid of them. 8,000, Jesus Christ, intervene immediately. Good, mein Gott. 33 horse, <laughs> yeah, that, that'll do it. That'll do it. Uh, no more European troops. Yeah, they're pretty much fucked right now. What is their war exhaustion? It's only 4%. Our war exhaustion is really high because we just got off of a big war, so. But uh, these blockades should really, uh, Put, put put a pressure on them. Blockades are worth a lot in terms of war score. In terms of like re exhaustion, rather. White piece. Yep. That is exactly what I want. Is white piece, friend. And we're gonna build up our forts again. And we are going to rebuild our military presence over here, of course. Go and Flores now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Of these. One, two, three, four. Five and six. And uh, three, four. Let's just get a whole bunch of airplanes because airplanes are really good for defense. So I'm gonna get just get shitloads of airplanes over here. Uh, moralism, of course, and this fleet doesn't need to do anything anymore. Just go back. Just go home. Go back home. No more need for your troops. I should have known because they're very backwards. Uh, where's the other transport fleet that was getting busy around here? We don't need you anymore. Uh, should I put you over here and die? Nom. No. No, 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 not needed. These were over here. Yeah, let's just put you back here. We do need long live Portugal. Gain 20 war. Oh, come on now. 20. I hate this. These events. It's just like the war is over. Here's more war exhaustion. No, please. I implore you. I beg you. No more war exhaustion. I, I don't. I don't need it. What the hell are y'all doing this here? Just go. Gather around, man. What the hell are you doing? Lisbon and 
Chunzo. Stop gathering here, it's confusing the AI. And we are going to take back our main fleet, of course, because there's no sense in just it's sitting here. Are there any other stupid ships just stranded out here? Uh, you're going here, okay. Just go back to Portugal. Stop loitering. Let me check the timer. Okay, we're doing good. Doing good, and I'm hoping that we can get some... Uh, organized Chad. Yeah, let's get that, and organize Chad. Excellent. Hmm. Now we're just gonna sit here, sit pretty. Oh, we can create a state. Cool. Wow, 44% Portuguese. <laughs> nice. Instead of women, we're gonna always be redeemed. Hmm. Lose 3 million C gain consciousness. Let's get some consciousness going. Firepower versus mobility. Excellent. We're getting a lot of uh, military tech to be discovered. Military discoveries. Gods, guns, and men. Uh, oh yes, of course. Let's turn down our military funding over here. And our ships. Let's turn up our military spending. We have an optimal percentage of uh, conservative reactionary. Oh, good, the reactionaries won. Finally. Fucking finally. About time. And we are not. I'm not too hot about getting more. Declared war. I'm not too. I'm not too hot about getting some uh, extra social reforms because we did already get plenty of those. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, what the hell? I thought I had transported these guys back. Darn, darn, darn. Main armament. Alrighty. Um, more organization for any of it. I want to. I want to max out my naval tech. Bakongo, we're still producing a lot of. Inf a lot of. Uh, troops and we and we do need a strong military presence in the colonies because that will allow us to get some nice and easy military war score to uh, for occupations and for battles it's kind of scary because Britain is always has this massive military presence in their colonies it's, it's insane they just have like hundreds of thousands of soldiers it's fucking scary man all of our troops, all of our navies gathered here, I guess. Our second fleet, those are transports. Yeah, let's get those troops back home. They don't, they're not needed here. Expand that naval base, please. Okay, another one. And another one. And another one. Since we're rolling in money, we can afford to expand all these cool naval bases. Um, more fascists and more reactionaries. Just what the doctor ordered. Ah. More naval bases, more forts. We're gonna use this. We're gonna try to use this money to the this money that we got from Britain and spend it in our infrastructure. Spend it wisely. There's nothing better to do besides spend it. There's no reason to just accumulate it. 15 liberal. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You don't understand. I don't need more liberals in the, in the upper house. Argentina wants an alliance. Yes, please. Zambezia. Another state. Ah, look at that. South America is pretty much ours. Just unoccupied. Come on, Argentina. Where the fuck is your military? Get your shit together, man. Jesus. Jesus Christ. The occupation of Reconquista. Looks like we recon reconquered Reconquista. Ha! Heh. Quick firing guns. More good techs. This is looking like an interesting endgame here. We only have about eight more years. We grant the request. Home rule for Iceland.
Yeah, why not? I don't really need... Uh, and we're going to make a state out of Iceland and Greenland, it looks like. Look at that. 15% Portuguese. <laughs> ah, it's hilarious. Oh, shit. We lost a whole bunch of... Because we had a pretty good port there. It had a little level 4 port in Iceland. Darn. Let's keep our troops stationed over there in Argentina. Paraguay, fascist dictatorship. We are now pretty much just sitting back, relax, just burn through our infamy. Britain, we weren't able to dismantle their empire. They sort of fucking disgustingly large navy. Oh, no, actually they don't. We actually have a bigger navy than they do. We have a pretty big navy. 27... Beer hall. Beer halls, yes, why not? Alright, you guys have arrived. Perfect. Get on the boat and go home. We need a lot of troops home after all. There's always the threat of enemies everywhere. Let's build more dreadnoughts, why not? And three more, because I like even numbers. We are gonna we're going to be able to probably have some more room for in our naval force limit after we finish building all these piles and piles of naval bases. Confederacy is not all these fascist dictatorships. Fascist dictatorship, the, the FSA is a demo. Oh yeah, we were at war with the FSA because they were allied with the... Oh wow, the fascist parties in... My god, the fascists are gaining a lot of ground. Holy shit. Uh, what? America's all. Uh, who's number one in military? The UK is still number one. It's probably because of their navy, and also they have a, a whole bunch of troops. Ireland is released. Excellent. Oh my god, look at you, Bosnia, Herzegovina, and Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia, you need to get your shit together, man. You need, you need to fucking annex Bosnia, and Herzegovina right now. Right now, friend. You need to fix that. That is just unacceptable. Let's separate our transport fleets. Like so. How are we doing with our building? We're still building a lot of our troops here. They're all gathering very nicely. Let's leave some troop over here. Station at the edge. Acquire yes. Kashgar. Looks like the Qing Empire wasn't able to reconquer the territory from the Europeans, so they're taking it out on their previous satellite states. It's fine. If they want to be mad, it's fine by me. Oh, they're allied with... Oh boy, that's not good. That is not good. They're allied with Germany. Shit. 10 hour workday, extended subsidies. Yeah, why not? Why don't you want my alliance? Negative 72, government type, infamy, too many alliances. A new American alliance, that's the only... I don't think we do have a, a, a great power ally. Oh yeah, we do. No, no, Italy is not a great power anymore. Shit. We do not have a great power ally. We do not. We're one of the few nations over here without a great power ally. Russia is no longer great power, but they're going to get back into the saddle, I think. Or maybe they won't because they lost all this uh, prestige. They lost a lot of prestige. Switzerland, really? Fucking really? Switzerland is a great power? You must be shitting on my tits right now. Oh boy. Enjoy. Right, perfect. French Algeria is 100% occupied. The Ottomans are our allies. Oh yeah. They're not very good allies, but 
Oh yeah, what am I doing? I'm not... What am I doing? Nothing, that's what I'm doing. Fuck. I need to get tech going. Go faster. Two million in the bank. I do want to get back to being number one. Who doesn't want to be number one? We do want to be number one again in the world. Number one in the military. Because we used to be number one before our fleet got sunk to the bottom of the sea, but uh, we're going to change that. Free states. United States. Corjo. Oh yeah, maybe we should get an alliance with Japan. Negative 36. Yeah, they might be a feasible alliance. I'm a little bit scared, though, with this alliance the Qing Empire managed to forge with the Germans. This is really bad. Potentially, if they try to go for a reconquest war, they will join in favor of the Qing. And I'm not looking forward to the day when I have to fight Germany. On the other hand, uh, they're probably not going to be very successful because France hates their... their. Oh my god, France actually managed to enforce demands. Uzbekia, I'm not going to help the French. The, the, the Russians. I can't believe that France actually managed to enforce their demands here. Because Germany was busy with their <laughs> with their troops like all the way over here in Siberia and they're marching slowly. <laughs> oh god. Alsace Lorraine. A little, a little tit over here. Forcing itself back into Germany. God damn it. Check the timer real quick. All right, this episode is long enough. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Hope to see you next time here in this wonderful land of Victoria 2. We are nearing the end. We are almost in 1936. The world looks very interesting, very different from then, from what we started. We're hoping that another we we will have another. I hope that we'll have another great war, and that we will not be able to. We will not be fighting against Germany this time because the Qing Empire is looking kind of bellicose. It's looking like they want to see our head on a stick. They want all their old territories back, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Thank you for joining me, guys. Hope to see you next time. Please do consider leaving a like and subscribing. It helps me a lot. Thank you very much, and have a great one.